Okay, this is me in my boost B suit, and I'm uh, using it to keep from getting soaked from the sprayer. I'm using this uh, citrus strip to uh, brush on, and you see how it uh, bubbles up and falls, makes the paint uh, come loose from its surface. It mostly gets one layer at a time. Sometimes it'll go a little deeper than. Uh, this had four layers on the bottom half and two on the top half, so uh, you spread it on and then you spray it off. And what's good about it is uh, you get this on the um, screw heads and the sprayer will blow the paint out of there. So you can get your screwdriver in and get this uh, paint off, get the screws out, without having to dig with a wire brush. I didn't want to use anything like a wire brush on the aluminum. I wanted the aluminum to be uh, as nice as it was when uh, they first painted it. So um, this is it behind the uh, garage and uh, after this I move it out. Okay on this day of whatever it is I'm taking more paint off. I put this on last night. When it bubbles up like that then I wash it off uh, with the sprayer. Looks like a lot of it's going to come off. And on the side, I have a little bit left on the door. Wow, some of that looks like it's still colored. It's supposed to be dry. But peeling off like that. You'll see how that comes off. I'm going to videotape some of this uh, spraying after I start the uh, uh, the uh, gas uh, sprayer. I, you won't be able to hear me, but I'm going to videotape me uh, getting this off. Last night I put this stuff on, and this morning I'm uh, taking it off. So I put it on with a brush, a two-inch brush, and, and then uh, wait 20 uh overnight and then take it off with the sprayer that way I don't hurt the aluminum if I use a uh, putty knife or a wire brush then it's going to scratch the aluminum so we put this citrus stuff on and then we take it off with the sprayer now I'm going to go start the uh, gas sprayer and uh, show you how it's done I've got the teal, the original teal, and then I have a red, and then I have a, a beigey beige, and then on top of that I have this uh, white, more light beige. As I understand that that's different rattle cans. of it all.
Okay. I've got I've got most of that done. Get rid of my hat here. I just run out of gas, so you can see it takes off uh, all those layers. It usually just takes off the one layer and do two layers, but it went uh, all the way through to the uh, teal, the original color. And there I run out of gas. And there it is, all on the ground. All that paint. So I've done good here. This is light up here. This two beiges and the original beige. This is still the uh, four colors painted on there. So that's it. Got to go get gas and some more of that citrus stuff. Okay, it's RV Jerry, and here I, I think it's my last time doing this side. I spread uh, that citrus stuff on it last night on what little pieces was left. It's got most of that off. I think it'll be all up to the polisher. The front is uh, about all gone. Yeah, I would say it's all gone. And the uh, the side, I have one more spreading. Uh, this is what the other side looked like. And I have to hit that door on the back really, really heavy with the gel. This light stuff will come off. This is the turquoise color it was. And after that, we should be done. Let's see if I can get a picture. Well, that's sort of like a picture.